What's up everybody, it's Wobbly Yonder, and today we got another great video for you all. As you guys know, I just completed basic cadet training here at the Air Force Academy, and I'm finally an accepted fourth class cadet here at the Academy. Um, this Sunday morning, I was actually able to climb Eagle's Peak with a couple of friends. Eagle's Peak is the mountain that rests right behind the Air Force Academy, so you can like kind of just see over everything, Colorado Springs. Obviously, this right here, this whole section, that's the Air Force Academy. Um, lying further to the south, that's the prep school. And so we kind of get to see everything from up here, so it's a great opportunity um, to just sort of get away from the Academy, come up here, and just sort of view everything. Um, definitely, if you ever are in the Colorado Springs area, you can hike this trail. Even if you are a civilian, you can still get on base and hike the trail. Um, obviously, if you're a cadet, you're also able to hike the trail. So today I'm going to give you guys a few tips on what to learn before you get to the academy. And it sounds like a kind of boring video, but actually this is really important information. This is something that other um, directs have told me that I should probably make a video about because they got to the academy and they didn't know some of the things that you're supposed to know. Um, one thing, the very first basic thing that you're going to be taught, which is really on the bus, like they're going to teach you, that's the very first thing you learn is your seven basic responses. Your seven basic responses are how you're going to communicate with your cadre. So they are yes, sir, or ma'am, no, sir, uh, no excuse, sir, sir, may I make a statement, sir, may I ask a question, sir, I do not understand, and sir, I do not know. Obviously, if you are reporting to a female, if a female cadre asks you what are your seven basic responses, you would say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, no excuse, ma'am, etc. So, and obviously, if you're talking to a cadre, you would just use the appropriate term. Um, so those are the seven basic responses. Those are the first things that you're going to learn when you get off the bus. They have to be in order just the way I just said them. If you say them out of order, you're going to have to say them again. Um, if you're not loud, if you're not confident about what you're saying, you have to say them again. So just practice them on the few days before you get to the academy. Um, secondly, you want to learn the Air Force song and the Airman's Creed. These are two very basic things that are pretty easy to learn, but you're going to have to memorize them once you get here. So the first thing is the Air Force song. You can look it up. It's called Wobbly Yonder. That's the name of the song, and it, you can look it up anywhere. There's four verses. I would suggest learning all four verses. If you're a prior enlisted airman, you might have only learned the first verse in basic training. Uh, you're going to have to learn all four once you get here. So definitely learn the rest of the song. Um, and then the Airman's Creed, very simple. It's a very simple, um, not a poem, like a quote. Like it's, 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 just, it's a creed, something that you just have to memorize, all airmen in the Air Force have to memorize, and it definitely will save you some time and stress once you get here. Um, so you have your seven basic responses, your Air Force song, your Airman's Creed. You definitely want to also learn the Air Force ranks. You want to learn all the enlisted ranks and all the officer ranks. This is going to make it a lot easier once you get here and you have to start memorizing people's ranks and their names. That way you can kind of associate, okay, you're a technical sergeant or a cadet technical sergeant. I understand that you're enlisted. It makes it a lot easier to recognize the ranks, to learn the ranking structure if you already know the names of the ranks. So definitely learn the Air Force ranks and what they look like. Um, next, you want to also learn, okay, so we have the Airman's Creed, I'm sorry, the seven basic responses, Airman's Creed, Air Force Song, Air Force Ranks. Uh, it will also help to learn who the superintendent is, like the president, uh, secretary of the Air Force, like certain um, important people in your chain of command that you have to memorize. If you don't memorize it, it's not that big of a deal. Um, the, superintendent, the superintendent's not going to be yelling at you on day one. You will probably almost never see the superintendent because obviously he or she has a lot more important things to do than basics, to, to worry about basic training. So um, worry more about the smaller things like the seven basic responses. That's definitely going to be something that they're going to harp on on your first day. Uh, let me think. Anything else? That's pretty much the basics. Uh, the Air Force core values, integrity first, service before self, excellence in all we do. Those are also uh, very important. You want to learn those as well so definitely learn those things um when you get here it's going to be a little chaotic it's going to help if you learn these things ahead of time it also help you learn your uh, facing movements i have a video on learning or i teach you how to do facing movements left face right face about face and parade rest saluting all that's <coughs> excuse me <coughs> still got a little bit of jack sack uh, all those things can really be helpful um yeah that's pretty much it though i'm just enjoying nature trying to get ahead of the curve with my education here. Um, I'm already about a day ahead for my, for my classwork and my coursework. I'm trying to get a little bit further ahead this Sunday before classes start back up. Uh, I'll be making more videos soon, so look out for those. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.